a very good day to you. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to generate a flow sheet using Xpen Plus. So once you have opened uh, Xpen Plus, what you need to do is create a, a new blank simulation. So click new, then go to uh, blank simulation and create. So we have to wait for the simulation engine to be loaded. So once you have this, then you'll be guided to the list of components. So based on the user guide, you have to put in uh, ammonia, methyl bromide, and also water. So it is always a good practice to put your component using the third column through the third column here, component name, uh, but not the component ID. So it is a must for you to put in your component using component name. So ammonia, ammonia, then we have metal bromide, then we have water. So once you have listed down the component, then you can assign the uh, ID to the respective component. So it doesn't matter if you want to name it as A. It's also okay, but based on the guideline, uh, it has been named as ammonia, so we just follow at this moment. Metal polymide is uh, MEBR, I think. They have actually put it as MEBR, and then uh, water. Okay, so ID is actually up to you. You can use any uh, any name. Okay, let's say you want to name ammonia as your name also, it doesn't matter. So in the case of uh, if you put in a component and it's not available in the data bank, then you have to go to the enterprise uh, database. Here, you have uh, a list of data banks. So at the moment, we are actually using the data bank on your uh, right-hand side. We have actually chosen only six. Okay. Uh, say you, if you want to simulate a plant which is uh, for the production of biodiesel, then you need the data bank about biodiesel. So you can choose uh, biodiesel, every APV 90 biodiesel, and push it to the right hand side so that uh, the properties from the data bank of biodiesel can also be extracted when you search the component. Okay. But of course, you can also choose all data banks. So you just click the second button here to push all the data bank to the selected data bank column. Okay. So once you have uh, listed down all the component, uh, the next step, uh, if you don't know uh, which step to go, then you can click next here. Okay. There's a next button here. Just click next. You'll be guided to a, a page for you to select the property method, which is referring to thermodynamic model. So here, uh, yeah, you just leave it common. Then and see, uh, we have to see Pink Robinson is available here under the uh, common method. Okay, Pink Robinson is stated in the user guide. We just follow the one recommended in uh, the user guide. So. Uh, but in the case of if Bing Robinson is not available under the common method, you can, you have to choose all. Okay, choose all so that more method will be listed down for you. So all the methods are listed down for you. So Bing Robinson must be one of it. Okay, Bing Robinson. Okay. So once you have done this, uh, just click next if you don't know which step to go. Next and uh, Click OK to generate the properties for the simulation later on. Okay, now for the property step, we are having a status of result available, meaning that all the properties are generated and it can be used for the simulation later on. Okay. So once this is done, we shift from simulation, sorry, we shift from properties tab to simulation tab.
so we can actually minimize the uh, economic section here just minimize so that you can have a bigger space for you to generate the flow sheet okay so based on the guide uh, you are going to have a mixer okay that means the raw material will be pushed to a mixer and after the mixer uh, the raw material will go to a reactor followed by a distillation column okay. before you recycle the bottom stream of your distillation column back to the mixer you need a, a cooler a heat exchanger to cool down the uh, bottom stream of the distillation column before it recycles back to the uh, mixer okay let's uh, put the block so my practice is i will always put the block first then i connect the block with the stream okay, the last step then only i rename all the block and the streams accordingly okay. you can have your own way or you can uh, follow the guideline given so as i mentioned earlier if you are familiar with Exxon plus later on you can have your own method to get the simulation done faster okay what I need to do is I place a block so we have mixer followed by reactor so as stated in the user guide we have to choose RCSTR and for column uh, it has to be red frag and for heater we go to exchanger so the name of this model is heater but it can be used as cooler as well Okay, for cooling purposes so of course at the moment the name of all this model like uh, RACFRAG and RCSTR uh, it is actually meaningless to you because uh, you have yet to learn the detail about RACFRAG and also RCSTR so you'll be learning all this later on in chapter 3 and chapter 4 while for heater you are going to learn it in chapter 2 very soon okay. so once you have all this uh, based on the flow sheet given in the user guide so we have to flip the heater here uh, horizontally okay, so that uh, we can have the desired configuration the feed uh, of the heater should be on your uh, right okay so let's flip it horizontally okay now you click on material okay click on material so this is uh, uh, the configuration and the red color area <coughs> and or the red color error is the uh, location uh, for the stream that you must put in okay so let's start so we have the feed sorry so if you have not connected properly then you can click on the stream then uh, reconnect destination so just put your cursor here on the red color arrow and then uh, left click then now it is connected so next one is uh, connect the mixer with reactor so put your cursor left click and then the other side again put your cursor on the reactor inlet and left click then now you have actually connected mixer and reactor so the next step is reactor with the distillation column subsequently the bottom stream of the distillation column to the inlet of the heater and from the outlet of the heater back to the mixer make sure you put on the uh, blue cursor the same inlet okay now you have all this done so we just follow the user guide so this is uh, required in the user guide so what you need to do is you select all okay, select all just select and then control b to realign all the stream okay. so once you have uh, done all this just rename the block so m101 if so this is with the uh, proper convention so for reactor is R101 uh, distillation column is T101 so heat exchanger uh, is E101
right? So we have uh, constructed the flow sheet and uh, if you look at this model padlet, uh, you can actually close it if you would like to have a bigger space for flow sheeting. So you close it and you can also uh, magnify your flow sheet. But in the case of you would like to call uh, your model pad padlet up again, then you just go to view view and then model padlet so it will be called out again right okay say uh, if you have accidentally closed your flow sheet okay, accidentally and you would like to call it out again then you just uh, go to the same tab here view and you click on flow sheet so the flow sheet Will turn up again. Okay, don't be panicked when you accidentally close the model padlet and also the flow sheet. Okay, so finally, I think we have uh, done all the required uh, uh, item as uh, requested in the user guide. So we have to save it. So click file, save as. So there are a different format for the file that we can save. So typically you can save it as compound file or backup file. Okay, I would always encourage my students to save as backup file because it can actually uh, save you the capacity. Okay? You can have a smaller file and you can keep it. So just save as backup file, choose backup file and choose the destination and name the file accordingly. Let's say uh, we put uh, user guide okay user guide and then uh, just save it okay make sure you know the destination of the file because this is also a common mistake of the student they don't know where they have actually saved their file and when they want to call it up again uh, yeah, they are facing difficulty so just uh, make sure you know the destination I have actually chosen desktop and the name is user guide and I save it. Okay, just click yes. Right, I think that's all from me for the demonstration. I hope you can also enjoy your uh, uh, practicing. Uh, just go through the user guide because you are the first timer. So once you're familiar with the system, then you can have your own approach like myself. You can also uh, yeah, uh, refer to my method uh, as a guide. Thank you very much.